Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Aaron Kimball Lover. But we're going to talk about the fate of democracy real quick. And so the people of the NCR have, through their senators, chosen a new president. Who shall it be? Kimball triumphs, or uh-oh, looks like the ball that was confusing. Actually, what does that one look like? Um, electoral deadlock, huh? Oh, I guess there's all good as well. We could probably try out sometime, too. Um, inaugural address. All goods inaugural address. And then disunion. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, too. Proposed the Rural Revitalization Act, which we'll talk about later. Uh, yeah, it's alright. Strength in the face of adversity. Congress grew hushed in silence as President Kimball neared the podium, after the election of a new slate of senators to the NCR Congress. It had become clear President Kimball would retain the support of the majority of the Senate. The Republic remained on steady course, and all knew it. Senators, I am truly privileged that you've allowed me, or chosen me, to continue representing the interests of the Republic for four more years. I vow to continue the work I started when I became the President of this fair Republic, and... Continue to fiercely defend our borders on all fronts. Over the past five years, our troopers have brought victory after victory across the wasteland, from driving back the Brotherhood on the coast, to pacifying the Mojave, and from ridding Baja of our enemies to secure northern borders. The NCR's military continues to be the pride of the world. Senators across the room murmured in support. Kimball's bullish, hardline military stances had indeed brought some security to the Republic long plagued by raiders and monsters. I sincerely promise, so long as I continue to command the support of the Senate and the people, Never yield in the face of an enemy of the Republic, within or without. Never again will we back down from defending our people, and never again shall we cut unjust deals. Under my next four years, I'll expand our armed forces, centralize our bureaucracy, and expand our Republic to protect all. Cheers erupted from across the halls. The senators, guards, members of the Republic broke out uh, in fierce applause. Clearly, the President's continued hardline policies remain popular, but if the bodies continue to rack up, will they remain that way? We have great things ahead of us. So, we can do lessons of the Baja campaign, which would be too bad. What do, we, what do we have down here? The Grand Army of the Republic. Oh, that sounds so good. Our friends in the Stockman's Association. We're getting a 3% reduction in consumer goods needs and an increased caps production. Interstate highways. Has no effect. Well, it has no effect. I don't really want to do that. Dana Point Academy. Oh, which one is... Exo... Skills. High Command Improved Drills. The Grand Army of the Republic. Whether election troubles in the past and the public opinion at an all-time high, we can turn our attention to the most uh, important topic we have at hand, the state of our army. Modeled after the Grand Army of the past, we will establish new command structure that is highly flexible and adaptable to the ever-changing waste them. With two corps ready and ten more corps well on the way, our resolve to liberate the waste from tyranny has never been stronger. <sighs> if only. Cool. Uh, NCR dollars. That's nice. Uh, procurement of things. That's fine. Development projects. That's also fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hoover Dam. Nothing here, because we've already lost Uber Dam. <laughs> How flipping great is that? Um, the Hayes campaign. Oh. Oh, here's the election map. No. Oh, never mind. It clicked on it, and it went bye-bye. Okay, then. Um, in the meantime, uh, consumer goods. Consumer goods. Uh, close out organizational stuff. Help, lost sales diplomacy. I'm not really concerned about that right now. But more divisions. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're all just kind of surrounding here, just kind of hanging out, waiting for things to go badly. As you're doing standard arms for superb people. The NCR has had issues, certain issues with equipping its infantry, not due to lack of firearms, but due to an overwhelming variety. Numerous small manufacturers produce innumerable weapons for the NCR, some of which take different ammo or break after brief amounts of use. This inconsistency has caused heck for forces in the field. But it's not very good. Not very good when stuff like that breaks. Alright, so what else do we have around here? Construction? Yes, please. Because uh, it's so laggy, we can do that too. Thank you very much. And what else? Hayes campaign, no one really cares. Comments. As we're trying to get to the next focus as well. Such as, one comment from someone uh, says, Next time you play as the NCR, go for focuses that involve the mayor's uh, Mayor Hayes route. So, maybe some, next time. I, and I'll be honest. I'm going to play the NCR like five different times in total. So, that'd be cool to go this way. <clears throat> They're usually in purple here. Uh, it also appears that the first batch of Hayes focuses are unavailable if we finish all the investigation uh, focuses on either side. Oh, either side. So, uh, we'll see. Yeah, eventually, I do want. We're doing obviously Kimball's historical ish route right now. We'll do Hayes. We'll do Senator Allgood, and we'll get the other uh, routes that uh, we haven't talked about yet, and that I don't really know that well at the time of recording. Yep, but we'll get there. Someone says, I honestly can't wait till Old Blue finally reaches the East Coast to play out the pieces given to us in Fall Three and Four in a bit more satisfactory way. And, uh, and more importantly, the person also hopes, just like me, that a PC can still handle the mod at that point, even right now. The premise of both games was not bad for, like, Fallout 3 and 4, but I think they dropped the ball in the areas of the game. Probably Fallout 4, really. From really the story. Oh, yeah. Uh, portable radios. That's fine as well. Radios? Yes. Very handy little devices. What are we building right now? Not very much. Gonna go three and but really gonna go 
four, at least for now. At least we're getting one million at all times. At least one. Should do more. Oh, well. 122 days. That's going to take forever to do. I don't want to get prioritized because we're good because we could use more stability. It's okay, I'm just fine. Get out of my office. Just don't even look at me. How dare you. Um, someone else says, Overall Blues is an underrated and one of my favorite Hoi for mods. And someone else, and the same person said he found my channel because of Overall Blues. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know how actually underrated Overall Blues is. It might be, but I think it's actually relatively popular. It's relatively well known as far as I can tell. Uh, I mean, obviously, I've played Overall Blues a whole bunch in the past. Not as much at the time of this recording, but because of this 4.0 update at the time of this recording, I'm going to be playing this way more for the next at least probably month ish. So. Uh, what else do we want to do? The Colorado Fleet. I think I read this one yesterday, so we want to read it. Now we'll read it again. Now that we've passed Five Mountain Springs, we've access to the trade routes. We go about laying down infrastructure and digging wells. This will both endure the local population tools and make good transportations. Transportation of goods even easier. Three infrastructure in two different places. Nice. Hopefully, and Ashton. Very good. Ooh, what are we lacking here? Um. Oh, radios. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Riders. I'd eventually like to use riders for everything. Um, oh, they need radio as well, which makes sense, but dang it, whatever. Okay, so what else? Uh, someone says, I haven't updated Overall Blues, the new version, but it looks pretty neat just going off the map, or this person hasn't seen it yet. Um, there's also uh, nations like the Rad Roaches, the Beats, if you want to read about Traders from White, please go ahead. Uh, mosquito, Wasp, and stuff like that. I want more stability. So, um, And so it reminded this person of the Battleground submod for Overall Blues, which I didn't play very much of, because I, I didn't really get to it at the time. Um, someone else says, the same person says, I hope Vault City didn't change too much of having the Gecko and the Brain take over. Um, because one thing is one of the overall blues this person does have the ghouls take over the laser weapons still. Yeah. Still gotta explore this mod, because I'm sure there's still stuff we can find out and discover some. Yeah, I like what the, I almost always like what the devs do. With, uh, overall blues. Not always. Not always. But I usually like what they do. Actually, is this unique focus for you? No, it's not. Darn it. So yeah, I'm gonna... Every single nation, I'm going to I'm going to try to play every single nation that has a unique focus tree from here on out, so. The Fringe. Also, I'm pretty sure this is inspired by Metro. You know, the Metroid, Me, Metroid, no. Metro series, like Metro 2033. God, that was fun. That was a fun game. A lot of fun. <coughs> All right, a little bit of lag. Crap rotation? Sure, why not? Um, anything else really here? Not too much. Scavengers. Very nice. Interactive within the power. Oh, Kimmel Station is dying. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, we can actually do this now. Okay. We heard a construction construction speed by a little bit, but that's alright. Remilitarized economy is not bad, though. Not bad. Well, the Eastern Trade Routes. <clears throat> that's pretty decent. Um, as much as I want to do Mechanized Bull, probably not. Big Jim's Army. Jim Drills. More speed and organization would be bad. Fire Team Attack. Defense. Oh, that's not bad. Mossman's Army. Boost to Special Forces. I like that a lot. Remove. Ooh, this is not bad. Gunrunner deal. The gunrunners are the largest arms dealers in the wasteland. Let El Generalissimo pretend that running guns to Kazo make them rich. We need to cut deals with a cigar chewing kleptocrat with an industry at her back. We need old world armor and give the better production cost of guns. I mean, it's not really super necessary. We already have 12,000, but you know, it'd be nice since we're still making them anyways. So, might as well get that one done. Um, anything else? I'm gonna close that one for now, too. It's fine. We don't need that open. Uh, after that one, the Brahmin Caravan. So, that's not too bad. Uh, what's down here? Old World Plans ooh, for New World Hopes. So, what is this? Dana Point Academy. The High Command. Our improvised drill. So, your leaders will start with an extra level of skills. Your leaders will start with an extra level of skills versus improved entrenchment by 15 and training time by 10%. Improved drills. We want better drills? Or what do we want? Because I will be doing this several different times. Dana Point. I kind of want to go with Dana Point and see what would happen. I've often been asked, why do we not have a formal system to train our military? These fools fail to understand the difficulty of us standardizing military training, given the primitive nature of our society compared to the power pre-war era. I'm sure we have struggled under the limitations of a developing society on a fallen planet until now. So, I think that'll be okay for now. I could be wrong, but, you know, whatever. Uh, someone else says, awesome video. Love seeing you read into the focus trees. Great job, lad. Thank you. I always read them, for the most part. Someone says, darn, the mod has gotten a big update. When I checked it out, the map grew size and a half, and... Uh, yeah, just there's just so much growth. Yeah, they're getting closer to the East Coast, and the devs are doing great. Someone says, "Wow, you you starting many old blues campaigns?" Oh, you bet. Well, we're gonna get there. Um, someone says, "I'm really interested in the Navarro territories. Is there an enclave focus?" So someone else replied that probably not, since they start with off as a puppet. Portmaster Smith, standing army, inexperienced pilots. 
Oh, Eureka does have unique. Oh, nice. <coughs> Very nice. Even though it looks like it might be potentially generic, but maybe not. Pa Packers? These are not the Green Bay Packers. No. Now, there's already an Enclave faction in Montana now called MacArthur, and the devs said that alongside the Chicago and DC branch, they'll be starting Enclave faction for the game as each respective re region is released. Nice. Special Forces technology? Very good. Extraction? Sure. Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. I always have a bad cough now. Oh my goodness. Uh, General Wait and See. General Oliver. Elise. Colonel Reyes. Or Reyes, I mean. One heart, one mind. You know what? This doesn't help us out that much right now. Oscar Scone. Stone. Not scone. He's not a scone. We're not eating him. Yum yum. But stone. Dana point, because we can. Um, what else? Land option. Let's keep going with it. Mobile fortifications are very strong. Or at least as far as I remember. Should be very quite strong. Old world plans for new world hopes. In many ways, uh Republic's army is similar to the military of the 1940s America. Primitive compared to the Brotherhood, decadent compared to the Legion, perhaps, but that army saved the world. Another kind of was, so this is gonna be a full waste on conquest? Uh, I don't think so. For this campaign, probably not. I just want to see what the Democratic Aaron Kimball campaign would be. Maybe it will be. I kind of doubt it. Because there's so many more nations we got to go to and play the NCR again. And maybe do it then. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Because I don't... A full Democratic Wasteland Conquest, that seems okay. Someone says... Someone else said, from the comment section from the last video. Ah, I missed this a lot. Someone says, good video. Someone says, uh, is this update going to break any of your existing save games? For me? Probably not. Oh, actually, I broke my Arizona Reborn one. There's one video on that, but I'll go back to that some other time. So, um, someone else asked, uh, "Can we be expecting a MacArthur campaign?" And my answer to that is absolutely yes. So, <clears throat> the focus tree for the MacArthur is not ready yet, and we'll try to see if we can double check it right here uh, before we're done with the comments. So, yeah. Someone says neat. Someone says uh, fart. Someone else says play Red Flood. Um, if I mean, I'd like to play Red Flood, but the time of recording, it's like half a year out of date, so there's really no point to even try to go back. I want to wait until it gets done and souped up, so. Uh, Nitsitapai? Where is MacArthur? Ah, the Montana chapter. Um, there you go. Montana chapter. Elder Patroclus. Military background's not bad, too. Yeah. Military bunkers. Oh, I can't wait. Followers of the Apocalypse, Travel Memories, Paladin. I mean, I, I have to play as a Montana chapter. I just have to. You have Honor's plan, turning the Montana chapter. Montana? Montana. But Troclus' plan. Oh, I can't wait to play as this chapter. Oh, my goodness. Taxation, not tyranny. Prescriptive labor, nice. Minerva, the arena's bewitcher. A gander over the fence, and a smile on Elizaveta. Cool. And... <clears throat> Nomads of the Far North. Metis Congress. Moose Jaw, huh? Interesting. The Old Believers, of course. Bismarck. Church of the Silo. Um, so. Let me see. MacArthur. Oh, there. Down here. Oh! I didn't know it was so close to us. <laughs> oh, man. Ellen Santiago. Montana's mother. Oh, that's really good. Go East, young man. Resource production. Followers of the apocalypse were rejected, obviously. Support from the security the secretary of the interior. That's but a fraction of the Chicago enclave's power. So there's a vital role as the western outpost of the U.S. The colonel can always get more support, assuming they can act in the best interest of the security of the interior. Nice. I actually have not seen this one yet. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Montana Patriot. Light up the morale snakes. Patronize historians. Ooh. How is... This focus tree, like we said, is not done yet. Honestly, it's probably best to play this as fast as possible because the Houston Rockets used to have a focus tree, but then the devs took it out. So, I mean, they're back, but they don't have a unique focus tree anymore at the time of this recording, which sucks, but whatever. You know, just things to be worried about. If, it, if it's not done, the devs have a tendency to take things away, potentially. So, the Great Emancipator. Uh, Great Emancipator. Or, man, yeah. While Hayes pursues fantasy of power armor when it drew weapons, Kimball is turning to true and trusted weapons. Apparently, this Sherman fellow also fought to free the slaves. Was it to free the slaves, or was it to end the war more quickly? Government contracts. Uh, the answer is the county has never been fully geared to war until now. Perhaps Kaz will realize we don't trot the bear, or trot on the bear and guns and butter. Unique in the way the Republican Republican afford people who are prosperous at home and respectable abroad and a roaring economy. Oh, yes. For long years of suffering and disunity over, and California's finally united under Karen, uh, Aaron Kimball, 
of the Bear Roars once The more. father of our country. Erdesh found the Republic went on and got it wisely. Without him, we'd be nothing but a bunch of settlers and huts. Honor and his memory is going to be poured in our voyage to bring civilization to the wastes. And, uh, Department of External Affairs. Some bleeding hearts told the new NCR, the NCR is not the only legitimate nation in the wasteland that we should recognize. Every little town is a sovereign equal. It's the duty of the president to correct this misconception, of course. Now, getting modern warfare wouldn't be bad either, but we've got to wait. We can't tell quite yet. The she state, huh? Ooh. The bear's armor. Ooh. Confront the steel menace. The state of Reno. Ooh. Increase the royal's taxes. Taxation, not tyranny. Huh. If Vault City does not exist, you'll get a war goal to free the city once you deal with the Legion, anyways. Cult of Renewal. Interesting. Let's do the Call of Duty. As the greatest servant of the Republic, I salute those responsible for our production. The owners, managers, and supervisors, the draftsmen, and the engineers, and the workers, men and women of factories and arsenals, of shipyards, and mines, and mills, and forests, and railroads, and on highways. Khazar is only now realizing the enormity of its mistake that a free people are a strong people. And replace an old world military with a new world military. So, better production costs for everything. Oh. I just have to talk about that type of stuff. Uh, let's not forget about this type of stuff, too. Ooh, defense doctrines. More naval stuff that I'm going to forget about. You betcha, son. You betcha. Become a spy master. Why not? Also, I did mistakenly, uh, I was just messing around. I'm like, oh, I remember. There's a core button here. And then I clicked on it, and then I, then I cored, uh, uh, puertacitos. Puertacitos. So, uh, huh, huh. I wouldn't say a waste of political power, but what kind of waste of political power down here? My bad. Ooh, another homie. Very good. Um, I'm not really sure where to send you right now. Um, where are we at? Y Yakuza territories. We're looking pretty good in California so far. Yeah, I can throw it against you guys. Now, the Legion's going to be throwing a whole bunch of mess of stuff at us. That much we know is true. Um, they'll probably try to naval invade us as well. Exile leader. Ranger. I'll go with you, why not? There. Yeah, be inspirational. Be an inspiration for everybody, so... Uh, Call of Duty, of course. <clears throat> Bear's armor. So how is this thing? I can't remember. Oh, scavenger just found nothing. Get out of my office. Ruthless drills. Don't really care about that one. Um, rally support. Change support. Seek appeasement. I don't really want to seek appeasement. Hmm. Rally support. Be willing to see the NCR Brotherhood conflict resume. I kind of don't mind that. Battle plan of Cobra. But we'd be rulers for this. Um, we could just go to Brown Bear. We need more military factories, more control states in 300. So, eh, I mean, it's not hurting us right now, so we can kind of wait. Esteban, Doofus Link. I gotta go with Doofus. And I do want to see what these guys are up to, because when are they going to go to? Will they go to war with us? They have to go to war with us eventually, right? Right. Well, you all train, anyways. Um, good. How are these NCR Rangers? 18 come with, not bad. Fire bases, absolutely grab them on them. And demo teams, yeah. You guys need the best equipment. By far. I'm not really sure when to send you. Um, we'll see. The Call of Duty, though, not bad. This is definitely worth corn a lot more than anything else. But the Call of Duty, and. Ooh. Uh, what do we want to do next? Lesson of the Baja campaign. Our fight down south taught us much about desert warfare and outrunning supply lines. Got good training for the march on Flagstaff. Pretty much. And what are these fellas up to? Well, we're still not sure. We got a lot of manpower. A lot of divisions. A lot more than us. We got a lot of allies. <coughs> I just wish we could see where. Oh, okay, I can see where they're going so far. The Phoenix Feathers, Rebirth of the Phoenix. Um. Fencer Online. Yuriko wants to join us. Sure, why not? Oh. Hey, we don't want the land auction. Nice. Thanks, Eureka. Good job. Good good idea. Yeah, sure, we'll do that one. Why not? Mobile Recon Core. Sure. Engineering stuff. A little out of town, but I don't really care. Alright, lessons from the Baja campaign, then what? I think we'll start keep going this way for now. Loaded for the Bears search. Welcome to Mojave's commanders. Which I think we already have them. What well, appears that neither Ranger Hanlon nor General Oliver are altogether keen to face up to their failures. Men of the second level commanders who fought in the Mojave appear keen to share their expertise with the new generation of forces. And sounds great. Sounds great. Bit of Arizona. Um, this stuff we can't do. Stay a disunion. Gunrunner licensing. It's not terrible. Oh. Artillery 
ammunition. The NCR will start with three volleys of artillery shell. That's kind of cool. Can openers, Seth's Rangers. Very cool stuff. Oh, look at that. That's not bad, too. Fun the Mojave Crimson Caravan. Well, we can do that one maybe a little bit later, but the semantic control over the device has been invaluable. But now we can fund a true caravan route between the Mojave and NCR. No longer will our spy lines be dependent on random caravan groups. Let's learn lessons from the desert warfare. Our strain in the Mojave Desert taught us many hard lessons about waging war in the post apocalypse. If we're to return to the Mojave and find success, we must realize our mistakes. Retool the Range Corps. From its conflicts with the Brotherhood, a clash with raiders and tribals, the Grand Corps has learned many lessons in the Mojave. It's clear we need a better equipment, or better equip the Corps, if we have any chance of success against future foes, domestic or foreign, and loaded for the bear. Well, we can't quite do this one, but with our country aptly reorganized, and the entire weight of the NCR ready to rally behind the expeditions, time for us to return to the Mojave. No one shall stand in our way, and we'll finish off this part with uh, water merchants, Colby National Guard, eh, civilian workshops, okay. Colorado Fleet's okay as well. Uh, our friends of Stockton Association. Did I read this one last time? I might have. Lifting the last of Tanny's restrictions on the size of Brahmin herds mean that the surviving ranchers can raise cattle more efficiently. And some of the ranchers lost their old jobs can now find new ones in mines and factories. And here we are at everybody with uh, gearing up for war. The Legion not satisfied with Vegas have come for us next. How fortunate even the Van Graffs want no part in the Legion's empire. The monster cross Colorado. A great foe rise in the cross Colorado led by a wannabe dictator and cosplay. Sure he, uh... <clears throat> May sound ridiculous, but the threat he poses to the Republic is very, very real. If we can't prepare ourselves, we're sure to be swept away by the coming tide. Which would be quite unfortunate. And then we'll have catching by on the back foot. Or prepare for the inevitable. Uh, NCR gains intel over them. Uh, what is this? One day the Legion or Determinants will march across Colorado for Shady Sands. We need to know when and we need to know how to, we need to, know how to stop them versus we'll need, we know the Legion will come, but we can all expect them to be the aggressors. Maybe just maybe we strike first. We can retain a competitive advantage for the Republic. I think we should be on the defense, but we'll see. I'm not sure which way. What's the more historical? I think it's supposed to be maybe rally more support versus seek appeasement? I don't know. Maybe appeasement? I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens um, with us and the Brotherhood. I, I really don't care. I don't mind, mind just eliminating them because eliminating people is fun sometimes. Don't quote me on that. But still. Uh, Baron. More population is always very nice. Special Force Capacity Multiplier goes down, so i got to say no to that one. Um, Ranger General Mossman. Yeah, that's our dude for now. But I don't keep coring stuff. Is it worth coring stuff? Maybe a little bit. But still. Do we get a lot of benefit from it? Eh, I don't want to say that much benefit, but it's not bad. Wait, what? Who? Uh, no. Nah, we good. Um, also, like, the Guardians over here, Vipers. Oh. What are the Desert Rangers? Direct on security hubs there, too. Wow. Well, that's alright. Let's see. Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, how much money do we have? 286. Caps mint, trade nose puppet. Uh, how much do we make every quarter then? <coughs> 108, that's not bad. I mean, honestly, at this point, I just kind of want to go to war. I want to see if. Can five divisions really hold out here? Like the Battle of Thermopylae style type of deal? Um, while we're waiting, I don't mind if we just have these guys, like, kind of guarding coasts. Because the Legion will invade. They will absolutely need to invade, so. Um. It looks here up about this, and we're making we're actually making a navy, so I'm not super worried about it. But you know, you never know. Um, of course, the, they might get invaded. The she might get invaded, but we'll see. Yeah, it's actually not half bad. Um, I kind of wanted to go to war anyways. Of course, then again, we could just just fight them, can't we? It only takes thirty days. You might as well grab the bonus. Prepare for the inevitable as well. If we have to be the aggressors, I know it's not very historical, but whatever, whatever, at this point. I just want war. I want more conflict. Because there's more to this uh, focus tree than just conflict, so. And I do want to see what's after it, so after this one. The, it, oh, the Rangers are turning Arizona to do. Oh, what? No. I want to see what's going to happen there. Um, a reminder, Royal, they, which don't exist right now, whatever. Modern Warfare? How do we get to this one? Um, salvage chocolate cars, okay. The bold, the immense. You gotta wait for that one. The she state? Why not? The she are an oddity in the ways, having no relation to the US of old. Some even speculate that they were descendants of our bygone enemy. Regardless, they are still our citizens. Considering we do not even speak the same language, perhaps it's best to give them autonomy for now. Or we could just eliminate them all, but you know, I guess we're probably not doing that, that route. Not yet. Not yet.
since there's no battle pooper dam, we're just gonna go and go to war anyways. Go and repair. We got 18 capital ships and 11 screens. That's uh, probably not great, but whatever. Basic measures, organizational relations. Don't really care. Basic generators. Um, anything for guns, maybe? Uh, let's do this stuff. Infantry equipment, not bad. She state. Followed up with. Uh, listen to the farmers' committee. Ten, you may your memory be a blessing. Believe that the republic should cap the size of farms. But a well-capitalized farm can run a farm more efficiently than buying fertilizer or tractor from a hub. Some may complain about the hard scrabble farms that will go under, but those who lose out can always settle the frontier. Can five divisions really hold out here? I kind of doubt it. But then again, I did beat these guys up. No, they're 18 convoys, and they do have fortifications. They don't have any of this. How many dogs do we actually have? I don't mind dynamite, though. Recon would be nice, but I never researched it. We need a few more fortifications, but these fortifications ain't bad. Oh, are you kidding me? Not again, dang it. Six. Go with three first. Three. Three. Something like that first, we'll see. I'm gonna have to go to war immediately. Go and grab that too. That'd be nice. And they should be able to hold there, right? This repeats itself, of course. Um, and these guys aren't going to be super easy to be, but... We have some allies here. And we do have four of the divisions right there as well. You can guard there, too. Last patrol is killing off... Or at least attempting to kill off a lot of people. Uh, let's get some more of these forces done first. And then maybe we'll keep going on with this stuff. Mali outpost. And if it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well, but whatever. You know, we tried. She state. Listen to the Farmers Committee. And we have until when to go to March 10th. So, wow. That's quite a ways away. Cool. Um, long term contracts. Implement a sales tax. Let's do that one first. Unlike religion, we don't fund our society by plundering conquest. A new sales tax on luxury goods will fund our economy. But, and moreover, because the rich buy more luxury goods, we'll be able to pay more. That's a very fair. Re that's very fair, really. So, just in case, we'll try it. And if this goes poorly, then it goes poorly. My bad. We got a lot of factories, though, which is really nice. Immediately start going to... Oh, no. Our guys are attacking them. Why? Why would you do that? Well, the goal is to just defend against these guys the entire time. Ooh. That's what, oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, well, don't do that one. <coughs> Anything else is fair game. If we lose our ships, whatever. Um, I mean, the main goal is just to hold. Oh, oh, okay. I did not realize this. They have actually guys down here, too. That's interesting. Well, quite peculiar, I'd say. As long as we're holding. And we're golden. That's what matters to me. So I didn't realize. Okay, so this actually became an area that we would have to defend. That's really good to know. I didn't real. I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. Well, now we're at war with the Legion. I know it's not very historical. You know, we wanted it to be historical, whatever. Are you actually pushing in? You're being like, you are actually pushing in. There you go. Guys, I want them to attack us. I mean, if we get nipped in and all of them, that'd be great, but still. You guys still making your way down there? Have our ships done anything? Have they found anybody? Have they sunk anybody yet? No. Not yet. Still holding out here, which is very good. And these guys are just kind of hanging out. Let them hang out. Let them attack us. Thousand losses so far, not bad. We've lost 31. Oh, we do not have air superiority up here, but we do have some down there, which is not terrible. Listen to the Farms Committee. Implement that there, sales tax. Of course, this is an offensive war, we got to remember. Um, can we go to Roaring Economy? Yeah. Uh, more output. Less country base node income. And way better, faster 
Uh, military factory construction speed. It's not bad. Yeah, there's a Legion thing. And now I heard they're trying to nail invade us too. Which we all pretty much knew what was coming. Ah. I see. Senors. You will die here. If they want to do this, I mean, they, they're they absolutely free to do so and die for our amusement, but, you know, whatever. Um, Navajo? Sure, why not? Because we can. And... More breakthrough? Sure, why not? Ah, strengthening our line. Very good. No, overall, not bad. They might, these guys might get more attacked. Yeah. There's just a lot of choke points here. But like I said, it's fine with me. And you guys here just for backup anyway, so... Um, we need to research demo teams. I can't believe it's taking me this long to get actually dynamite. My goodness, what's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, long-term contract sale. Some small towns in NCR are dominated by a single firm or family, and some of their leaders have suggested legalizing long-term contracts. It's not a spiral of opposition and slavery. If an employer knows the worker will stay around for five years, there will be more incentive to train and educate them. Yeah, it's true. Economic development note increases progress. Development. Cool. We gain 200 more dollars, which would be nice. <coughs> Got a lot of air XP. Of course, never enough, but still. Just bait them to attack us and enjoy our time here. Uh, what else do we have here? Ooh, area warfare. Very nice, finally. I was wondering we were going to get that one. Uh, after long term contracts, deal with the Van Graffs. Tyria Mama Van Graff loses the Van Graff, which is not good for us. Not overall, not good. But she gets von the Van Graffs. Better cap, less income, slightly even worse income, but pl basically plus 50% more infantry equipment, which is not bad. Popular conception holds that the NCR lacks advanced technology like the Brotherhood or the Enclave, but that's simply not true. The real issue is that while they had armed seven men on an oil rig, we need to arm the greatest force of democracy for the wasteland. The Van Graffs can help with that for a price, of course. Yeah, I'm not interested in attacking. How, oh, what's it looking like right now? 2,000? Yeah, they're not really attacking too much either. Oh, it doesn't help that our allies are... Oh, hello. Our allies aren't doing us any favors. Still. It's fine. I'm not too worried about this war. It becomes very protracted, whatever. I mean, we've got a lot of time to finish every single focus that we do have, so... Seem good, that's fine. Defensive armaments, nice. Get more range, yes, please. Very good. Besides, so if they attack our line more, I mean, I'm totally okay with that. Since we could use way more army XP, especially here. Because we can keep doing this one too. Push forces. Mm. As much as I want more, I prefer better in general. Do the Van Graffs. Alright, where are they invading next? Right here? It's fine with me. Oh, still trying to force the attack, huh? James Big Jim Marshall. Oh, whoa. Oh, graphical glitches. Going crazy now. Going a bit nuts. We got any cast? No, we got more biplane fighters, though. It's pretty nice. There you go. Got anything else here? Monoplane fighters, maybe? Yeah? Oh! Also, the Northern Western Brotherhood, which used to be the, you know, Northern Brotherhood, Clearwater and MacArthur Detachment. Oh, boy. 
No sense really doing that. You guys go here. Go tactics, not bad. We got some organization, that'd be nice. Real swanky swanky. Other than that, that's looking pretty good. White legs, I love white legs. Mine radiation leak. Yeah, we're doing a ton of damage down to South California. Love it. Are you trying to nail base again? Here. Good job so far, guys. Um, South California. Ah. It's fine. They've only lost 4,000. We got a long time to go before we're actually done here. So, it's fine. We got plenty of focuses to do. It's been the OSI. Let's do the commercial economy. The fundamental tenet of the old rule of democracy were life, liberty, and the pursuit of pro property. Consequently, so are ours. As our economy continues to develop, it's only natural that these things values that these values are surge. Seven percent require fewer goods and bonus construction speed. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Anything here? Okay. I mean, these guys are trying hard. I, I mean, you know, give them credit. They're trying so hard. These guys are doing all right too. Yeah, you treat. You come back thundering around, though. Oh my god, stop getting captured, you ding-dongs. How many times? Literally, it's the same person every time. Finally got some dynamite. That's good. <clears throat> uh, probably go with this one. Dinamite. Nice. We're going by five. That should be good enough. And there we go. Very good. Uh, these divisions, we did not throw Dinamite on them yet. I think they're more explosive, anyways. You guys already had them. Nice. Baja. Oh, Baja. I think we'll be fine with them down here. Should be okay. What are you doing here? There you go. Oh, you guys are up here doing this stuff. Oh, no, not MacArthur. Not MacArthur. I didn't think about Mac Daddy. You know, give me one of you guys. He's definitely learning a lot. And I apologize if it's not super, super engaging. But expand the OSI. Under Campbell's leadership, the OSI became the hub for cutting-edge research, making the nation better through a focus on practical matters. Perhaps followers should take note of our success. Yeah. Uh, I do apologize for not, that's not being super, extremely mega-engaging as, you know, some other wars would be. But I'm, I'm playing it safe. It's my first campaign doing this again, so... Just playing it a little safe. Um, yeah, I must well go there. There. Help them out, y'all. Help them out. Ah, now they're finally taking us up here, too. Oh, well, look at that. That's not good. Um, you all may want to come back up here, maybe. Just in case. Just in case. You know, you never know. You are going to go paint train. You are going to go right there. If anything, I'm going to convert these divisions around. These, because I don't need all these divisions right here. I might actually throw like a couple more up here or something, or split up the armies a little better than what we currently have it. I think that'd be better for everybody in, in, in the general, anyways. But after the OSI, industrial revolution, oh yeah, or restoration. Gable managed to guide the NCR's economy through transition to a fully commercialized, industrialized society. Under his guidance, we may one day reach living standards in tw the 2070s. And my God, wouldn't that be such a great thing? Yeah, they're still attacking over here. Making ourselves look a mightily weak, but they've got hundreds of thousand manpower left still. I mean, it's basically nothing. Anything yet? No, I'm switching to them. Get in the water. Do the best you can. Try not to die. Oh, do we actually lose a tile here? No. Okay, for some, I thought. Second, we thought we did. Oh, words are hard. Alright, so we got everything that we really want out of this page here for now. 
Land auction, of course, is done. Scrap pods would be nice, but I don't really need it right now. Um, we'll probably go with frag grenades. Advanced tools. Production speed. OSI, industrial restoration's nice. I'm gonna grab some of that as well. I'll go Paso. Nice. <coughs> how, how much have these guys lost? Two sons have not lost that many. Not nearly as much as they really should. Not very much yet. We just kept you in all the water here. You're still taking forever to get down there. Okay. You know, it, it takes time. Vehicles. Uh, how much money do we have? 805. We're going to get 96 a month. Oops. Uh, I wanted to do this stuff. Do my projects. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Industrial restoration, of course. After that one, cooperate, cooperate with the Xi? Why not? The Xi hosts and regularly discover extraordinary advanced technologies generally inaccessible to us. Although the local hawks insist upon the use of coercion to procure these technologies, it may be more beneficial in the long term to use more mutually beneficial means. Oh, okay. The cost, uh, public's custom union. Alright. Why not? Sounds like fun. Um, Big Jim's definitely learning. The plane's doing quite well, too. Hopefully. Right? Oh, yes. Are you still trying to get down there? Bros. <coughs> that machine guns are nice. Got rocket launchers, perhaps. Interstate highways? No, nothing there yet. Um, Andrews return. Oh, recruit local mines. Violence in the hub and the federal government's involvement therein may co cost lots of damage to many homes. It wasn't all terrible news, however. Martial law exposed senior military and political officials to a number of sympathetic local figures whose skills could have greatly help reduce or help greatly help the republic. Let's bring them on board. I don't see any reason for us to do this, especially to get more and more army XP. So. Uh, a popular general or genius, I guess. Genius. Well, might as well grab you, anyways. Even more. Now nah, we're good. Oh, are we losing here? Oh, that ain't good. Here, get down here, guys. What are we paying you for if you're not going to do anything? We're going to a specialist. Modoc, yes. They still attacking. The tune training is nice. Uh, I'll probably go with uh, me uh, with mechanical stuff, and then cultivate the national guard. Federal troops can't be responsible for keeping the peace in the hub forever. We should build up a local national guard capable of breaking up violence in our place. Mitch's manufacturing. Mitch went a long way from the start running the all-in-one store. Now his successors successors help clothe the republic. Public library. For some reason, a lot of the waste thinks the NCR is an anarchic. Or anarchic uh, land overrun by slave raiders. But the hubs added a library since uh, 2137. And now we can expand it further. The water merchants. The hubs water merchants created California's first currency. By working with them, we can open new lines of credit for the NCR to draw on in its hours of need. Oh, crap. What happened here? Oh. We're seeing a lot of stuff. Nice. Are y'all doing actually okay? Hey, they're level two. Nice. Go and do that. Uh, do that too. Don't. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Uh, split off. I usually do that, but not always. The Colorado Fleet. Every facing mighty threat across the river, it's only right to prepare for it. A legion wishes to march, so they try to do so across the dam. Well, they already did. The Southern Fleet. Just a minute, grip on the Baja. We must project or, uh, or protect our forces all along the uh, Mexican coast. Let's commission sea bears to rule the waves. The Deep Blue Sea. Our first success just came in. Far from our fair shores, we found an armada of Hawaiian pirates. We crushed them easily and resisted their lives by a mission peace. We learned much uh, from our new combat experience. Remember the rig. Some of the enclave soldiers we captured up maintain the big rigs and naval defenses. We never paid much attention to them before, but we might as well try now and look to the west. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west. It makes my spirit cry for leaving, but it's not about time we find out what's beyond the horizon. Uh oh. Hey! Good job, guys. Great job. But yeah, I'll do, I'll do more of this war off screen, anyways. Um. I want to start. Throwing a lot of guys behind you because you can just help garrison stuff for now. I'll split you up later, maybe. 
Oh, Colorado Fleet, why not? Tucson, yes sir, yes please. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there we go. I still want more stability. Stonk's nice. And after all that stuff, uh, what else do we have down here? Taxation, not tyranny. While we would never infringe upon the sovereign rights of Vault City, surely we would be both benefit even closer ties between our two great states. Let's invite Vault City to also join a customs union. The Ranger HQ. The Arizona Rangers Ranger once held a mighty city out east. East. Why can't we not provide for one of our own Rangers? They've done quite a few heroics in their own day, too. The Department of Railways. While the rest of the wasteland relies on savage or salvage, the Republic unique among the wasteland can build a railway. Power armor is fine and all, but can a ship 30,000 men in a few hours? And the problem of caravans. <clears throat> The big square unites the economy of the NCR, but where once Shady Sands shipped food to the mines of Reading, now the hub day glow and Shady Sands man ships manufactured wares north for raw materials. Some call this colonialism, we call it comparative advantage. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how you think this war against the NCR, against the NCR, no, against the Legion will go. We're only peace on course still. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll have a little bit more fun with this war. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous Aaron Kimball rest of your day.